In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS on your computer step by step using both Linux or Windows. Installing Ubuntu is not difficult, but if you are new to this or if you take one wrong step somewhere, it can be a real problem. You can lose your data and may even leave your computer unable to start. So I'll be showing you how to install this amazing distro in a very beginner friendly way. We'll be using the simplest and the fastest way here while I'll also be explaining what a particular option does in case you want to change things up a bit. Let's jump right in. You can use the timestamps given in the first comment to directly jump to the installation part if you have already downloaded the Ubuntu ISO file. If you haven't already downloaded it, you can follow through with me. Download the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS ISO file by going to the official site. The download link is given in the description below. Once the download completes, let's make a bootable USB stick. On Linux, plug in a USB stick and go to the download location. Right click on the downloaded file and select open with this image writer. Here select the USB stick in this drop down. Don't select any hard disk here. The USB stick will be formatted, so if you have any data on it, back it up first. Click on start restoring and enter your password. If you are on Windows, you need to download Rufus using the link given in the description below. It's just 1 MB so this shouldn't take long. Once downloaded, plug in the USB stick you want to use and open Rufus and you'll see this interface. The USB stick will be formatted so make sure it doesn't have any important data on it. In Rufus, under device, select the USB stick you have just plugged in. Then click on the button labeled select just under it. It'll open the file selector. Select the downloaded Ubuntu ISO file there and click on start at the bottom. Press OK on all the subsequent dialog boxes and wait for Rufus to do its work. It will take up to 5 minutes for the bootable USB stick to be created. Once it is done, restart the computer with the USB stick plugged in. The computer will now boot into a Ubuntu live session. If it doesn't boot into Ubuntu live session by itself, you will need to manually select the USB stick to boot from. For this, as soon as you press the power button while the computer is starting, you need to press either F12 or some other key based on your computer model to go into the boot menu. From there, you can select the USB stick. Okay, so here we are. We have successfully booted into a Ubuntu live session. This is your Ubuntu 20.04 LTS Focal Fossa. Let's begin the installation by clicking on this icon or directly selecting Install Ubuntu when prompted. First of all, we will be asked to choose the language. Let's go with English here. For keyboard layout selection, select the default option. With normal installation, you get a good number of applications out of the box. This will give you all the applications that you expect from a normal home computer. You get LibreOffice, an audio player, a video player, some games and stuff here. With minimal installation, you only get a browser and some absolutely necessary applications like the settings app and the archive manager. This option allows you to build a lean system that is fully personalized for you. With this option, you will get a bare bone but a very solid Ubuntu base for installation. Then you install only the applications that you need. You can see how this can be very powerful in creating a very sleek operating system. For now, we are going with the normal installation. Check this box as we want to install these additional but crucial components. You can see that the download updates while installing Ubuntu option is grayed out. This is because I have pulled out my internet connection. I prefer installing Ubuntu without an internet connection because this is way faster. If we keep the internet connection on, the installer is going to try to fetch the latest of all the packages from the Ubuntu repository while we are installing Ubuntu. This is going to significantly increase the installation time based on your connection speed and can also cause complications during installation which can be a real headache. Installing without the internet is way better. You can always update your computer later on. So click on continue. In this screen, we will be choosing where exactly do we want to install Ubuntu 20.04. The first option is pretty straightforward and simple. If you already have an OS like Windows or other Linux distro, you can use this option to install Ubuntu 20.04 alongside the older operating system. With this, you'll have the option to use the new Ubuntu as well as your older operating system whenever you want. 
this option will give you a Windows plus Ubuntu dual boot system. So if you want that, choose this option. For Linux newcomers who have Windows, I suggest you use this option as well as this is very safe and convenient for you. The second option erases your entire hard disk, so stay clear of it. Don't use the second option unless you know what you're doing. Here, I'll be using the last option, that is something else, as I'll be manually picking the partition I want to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS on. Here, you'll be shown a list of all the partitions on your hard disk. People who chose the first option in the last screen won't get this option, so you guys hold on a second, we'll be with you in a sec. Click on the partition that you want to use and click on change. Click on this drop down and select ext4 from the list. This is the file type we'll be using. Check format the partition and in this drop down select the slash which stands for root in the Linux file system. The whole thing should look like this. Ok. Click continue on the confirmation. Hit install now. Here select your location. In this screen, fill in your name and a new password. And that's it. Ubuntu is now getting installed on your computer. A slideshow will introduce you to the basics of your new Ubuntu OS. This will take around 10 to 15 minutes. Once the installation is done, it'll ask you to restart your computer. Click restart and pull out the USB stick when prompted. You'll be welcomed by your new Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. On first boot, you will be asked to set up live patch. Just click next. Then it'll ask your permission to collect some analytical data to improve Ubuntu. Select yes if you agree and no if you don't. And enjoy your brand new Ubuntu. Well that's it guys. If you have any doubts or questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Next up. Check out my top 15 Linux applications that you must have. You'll get some great applications that you can install on your new Ubuntu. If you found this video useful, do consider subscribing to my channel. This is Linux Techs. See you in the next one.